Okay, so I need to go north from here, I think, to get where I'm trying to go. I really need to get into town. Am I going into town? I'm not going into town. I have to go the other way to get into town. Okay, so I really need to swap out. Again, I said this last episode when I got Latios. I don't dislike Latios, don't get me wrong. Um, I just don't like using legendaries during my main playthrough. And, um... And I also was stupid and swapped out Latios... Swapped out Pelipper for Latios. And I need my freaking Pelipper. Really bad. Um, he's my surfer, and if I'm not mistaken, the Leaf Stone that I was talking about last episode, the one before, I don't even remember anymore, um... The leaf stone I was talking about that I'm 90-ish percent sure I know where it is. If I'm not mistaken, you have to actually surf to get to it. Look at this place. Isn't this cool? Look how cool this area is. It, it feels so big and overgrown and wild. There's really no place like this in the Pokemon world. Like, at least not in a, in a way that's, like, grassy like this, you know? Let's see who we see here. Yeah, I don't care about Lanyun. Do I have a revive for my Nuzleaf? No. That's a shame. Alright, whatever. Um, let's keep going. There's trainers all through here. I would like to avoid fighting them if possible. Just, just because I want to get where I'm going as quick as I can. Ah, god dang it. Oh, look at you. For someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. I really like her design. Jeez. She looks badass. Okay, so Breloom versus Curlia. This should be relatively easy, I think. Really need a better psychic type move on. Sweetie, though. Like, I really, really need one. I'm actually going to do a Calm Mind first just to make sure I'm doing decent damage. Dang it, I didn't... I was hoping my effect spore that I stole from him would go off, but it didn't. Um, let's see. Let's do a Confusion now. Okay. Okay. I kind of expected that to do even a little less. I didn't even do half, but I did confuse him, so maybe he'll, he'll damage himself. Um, let me do a draining kiss this time to get some health back, hopefully. Alright, good. Boom. Very nice. It is nice winning with Sweetie every once in a while. Because accidents happen when you're not prepared. Um, because she... I mean, Curly is not awful, don't get me wrong. But she's not really going to be good until she evolves again. Which, um... E even Sly, as, as just a Nuzleaf, is pretty good. And I thought uh, how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on to them somehow. It turns out there's an HM move called Fly. I don't know. In a way, my dream came true, but I also feel like I lost my dream. It feels really strange. I mean, you can still you can still probably do that, man. Don't don't give up. What's in here? Hello. Look at you. You must be tired. Why don't you and your Pokemon take a rest here? Okay, cool. So Nuzleaf will be back up. That's nice. I've got to make sure you don't battle against any more flying types of thing. Uh. Okay. What do you say? Hello. I heard that somewhere there's a, a cave called the Cave of Origin. They say that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Did something like that really happen? Probably. I mean, a lot of weird shit happens in this world. Hello. Hello. <laughs> They're cute. Alright, let's, uh... Is there anything interesting over here by this water? I can't go in it, because I'm a dumbass. I can at least look out there, right? Oh, there's a there's an acrobike pass path over there. I actually remember that. Just ignore me, child. 
Eh. I should fight them. They look pretty tough. They'd probably give me. Ooh, there's a that that's an action. That's actually a really cool secret base location right there. I kind of want that one actually. The more I think about it, which I think I'd have to use that acrobike path to get to it. I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna fight these guys. They look tough. They'll probably give me some good experience. Oh, you're the first trainer we've met since we teamed up. And we're called we're what you call brains and brawn. And we'll do our utmost. All right, you're the first trainer we've met since we formed our team. And we're brains and brawn. And get ready, cause here we come. Interesting. Their names are even similar. Ooh, a Kadabra. That could actually be dangerous. I mean, the Machoke could be dangerous too. The Machoke could be dangerous too, but the Kadabra. Um, could be significantly more so. This is actually a really bad matchup for me overall. Um, yeah, this isn't good. Because that Kadabra is really fast. Kadabra is a really fast Pokemon. I still hit it hard, though, because it's also a very fragile Pokemon. Okay, yikes. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Poor Sly. Alright, um... We've got it with us. We might as well just... We might as well play around with Latios a little more, right? Still feels kind of unfair. Sure. It's no kill like overkill, am I right? Um... Kick its butt. Come on. Kadabra's faster? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's ridiculous. Kadabra is f such a fast Pokemon. Like, Alakazam is too. Like, I'm not saying Kadabra's faster than his Wild Form or anything. The whole line's fast. Even Abra's pretty fast. It's just kind of ridiculous. Eh, good. Not bad. Not bad. Nipper level. That's nice. That hardly did anything. Fantastic. Um, Dragon Breath. And just draining kiss again. God dang it. Stop recovering, man. It's annoying. You're going to have to bring out Nipper in a second. Or not. Or I could, I could just crit it with my Mega Latios. That's fine. Okay. It's special attack that's insane and totally unfair. Like, if I kept this thing with me and, and trained it up even just a few levels, customized its moves a little bit, I'd, I'd just sweep the game. That's not gonna, that wouldn't be fun, right? Right? Alright, let's get going. I like this, how it, how it pans to emphasize that area because that area is cool looking. There's another really cool looking base spot right there. It's so neat. Secret bases are such a cool concept. Look away. Look away. I don't want to fight you. Can I fit around there? No? Alright. Um, there's an acrobike path over there that I kind of want to check out. Which is... Yeah. Which is going to mean fighting that... Or not Akrag, Mach Bike. You know what I meant. You guys know what I meant. Um, now I want to check out basically me fighting this person, so let's just do it. Um, who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. Alright. He looks pretty badass, too. All the Pokemon Rangers look good in this game. Okay. Big old poison type. Which, if I had a stronger psychic type move would be a good matchup for Sweetie, but I don't, so it's not. Um, because she'll take extra damage from that. So I'm going to switch to somebody who can get this work done quick. Glare. That sucks. Hmm. 
Um, flame charge, I guess. Try to get my speed back up a little bit. Boom. Come on. Hardly did anything. My god. Survivor's a pretty sturdy Pokemon. Come on. Need to be able to outspeed this thing so I can start just wailing on it. Let's try that now. It's still faster. Freaking Christ. How much will Double Kick do? More than Flame Charge. Looks like... still. I still want my speed up because there's another Pokemon after this. Jeez. Come on. Cut. Let's go. It's still faster? Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. And I'm gonna have to heal, which sucks, but I've got all those Moo Moo Milks, so it's okay. Boom. Use Night Slash again, which does significantly less damage than the alternative. <sighs> Flame charge again? Keep getting my speed up. Dear God. How fast is Survivor? It's just crazy. Leveled, that's good. I'm getting close to evolving again. It's, it's 36 for him, right? I don't even remember for sure. Vigoroth. Okay, that shouldn't be an issue. I mean, if it hits, it'll do some solid damage. But I have double kick. And I should be. I'm not faster? Are you kidding? I raised my speed four stages. That's ridiculous. Come on. Hit it. Jeez. Alright, well, beat him at least. Jeez. Sweetie leveled, which is always nice. I didn't have enough Pokemon, know how. You know, you just didn't have enough Pokemon. Uh, it's so fast. PP Max, that's useful. Let's go up here. Is this just an alternate way to go where I was already going, I guess? Maybe? God dang, I was trying to avoid you. Go away. The vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare to the sheer exhilaration of flight. You're a strange man. He looks like an anime character, and I can't place which one it, which one I'm thinking of. Somebody from one of the Yu-Gi-Ohs, maybe? I don't know. Alright. Got Guts, which doesn't do me any good in a fight like this one. Um, let's calm mind up a little bit. How much is that going to... Nah, okay, so it doesn't matter. One more hit from anything is going to knock me out. Dear God. I was hoping I could build a little attack. Maybe he'd be stupid for a little while. Or maybe by some miracle, his hits would do less than half damage. Or maybe he'd be dumb and he would expect his swallow for um, special attack or something for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping there. Yeah. Why? Why go from Aerial Ace to Wing Attack? There's literally no point. It's the same damage, and Aerial Ace can't miss. Like, Wing Attack can't miss... It, wing Attack's 100 accuracy, I'm pretty sure. Assuming it is. It can't miss either, unless, like, some other effect is applied. But still. Um, Strength. I'm gonna slack off. Well, do I have... Yeah, I have enough health to slack off after this. I'm counting, right? Okay. Because I'm like, I don't... Because I didn't think that was gonna knock it out. What? Are you... Freaking crits. God damn it. You're paralyzed, so you're useless. Nipper is really... Because I, I don't want to use Latios unless I have to, right? Um, so Nipper's really my only option left. 
Dear God, I could go back to that house and heal again, but I don't don't want to do that either. That seems kind of unfair. I can't believe I'm getting my ass kicked by a swallow, though. Swallow is not bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's not great either. Finally, jeez. Probably gonna switch it so Nipper's at first, just because she's a little more well-rounded than Sweetie is. Uh, yeah. And I do have Latios to fall back on if I absolutely need him. Uh, dear God. Save my game real quick while I'm in here, because why not? Alright, what's over here? Yeah, it's... okay. I don't need the stinking bike anymore. I haven't registered the bike either. I probably should. Let's do that first. And then that's... yeah, okay. Just double checking. Alright. Ah, oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me, man. Why are they here? Oh, my God. That's another cool base location. Ah, uh, Get out of my way. Let, let, move, or I'll pu push you into the fucking river. God damn it. Hey, do you guys have security? Ugh. Welcome to the Weather Institute. There seems to be some kind of disturbance on the second floor, but I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Are you a robot? Are, are you like a like a cute blonde lady robot? And grab a soda while I'm here. Yeah. Disturbance on the second floor. That's got to be those magma guys, right? Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Hey. There's beds in that room over there. Maybe I could sleep in one and get my health back. Didn't even pay attention to what that guy said, because I just straight up don't care, man. Hmm. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee while I'm playing this. It's real good. I got some Starbucks flavored creamer. Um, the caramel macchiato. I don't use a ton of it, but I use enough that you can, like, taste the caramel. It's very good. Very good stuff. Um, as a matter of pride, I'm going to ensure that my, my Diana beats yours and proves it's better. This, this is the thing I do a lot when I'm fighting against my opponent with the same Pokemon that they have. I imagine there are probably people who do that, though, right? In the story of the game, when, when you come across an, an, an evil trainer who has the same Pokemon as you, you just have to prove that yours is better. Keep staying attacking it. Since the attack is up two stages, I don't want it to hit me, right? Oh, there's its swagger. Uh, my, my attack's gonna be up then, at least. That's something. Uh, bite it. Come on. Really need to learn a better dark move for a nipper, too. Yeah, look at that. Hit yourself. Come on. Oh, okay. That wouldn't have even gotten the boost from the attack up, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah. Look at that. Like, I had a couple levels on him, but still. Good battle, I think. Level 32, that's pretty freaking good. Wants to learn Embargo. I don't care about Embargo. Again, that's one of those moves that has its uses, but I, in terms of, like, an in-game playthrough, I don't really see the use for it, right? Um... Now I'll keep battling, it's fine. Because I could use Sweetie, but it's poison type as well, again. Well, it's poison type is why I would use Sweetie. But again, poison type is also strong against Sweetie. So until I can um, reliably do one-hit KOs, until I have a strong enough psychic move that I can one-hit KO, that sucks. You suck. Get, get... Uh, 
get bit, man. Um, until I have a strong enough psychic move that I can reliably one-hit KO poison types, fighting poison types, especially poison types that use physical damage, with Sweetie is a risk. A major risk. Um, can I, can I nap in here? Hey, kid. And while I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. Why is there, why do you have a bedroom here anyway? I guess because th this isn't like a business, it's like an institute, right? So they, the, the, the scientists or whatever probably bring their kids and have them stay here for a while. And let's take a quick rest, get our strength back. Alright, now I can fight with more than just like one and a half Pokemon. Do I want to battle this one? Do I need to battle this one? Should I battle this one? Uh, I don't freaking... Eh, whatever. I just... I want them all beaten. I came here because I heard the Institute is investigating the relationship between super ancient Pokemon and the weather. Good for you, man. Sounds like you actually had a genuine interest in this place. Maybe you're not as evil as the other ones? I'm still gonna kick your ass, but it, it's worth thinking about, I guess. This is a bad matchup. Hmm. Yeah, this is a real bad matchup. I'm just going to switch to Slacker, I guess. Because he can heal from any damage he takes. Because I really want... I want Sly leveled. And and he's so close to leveling, I don't want to risk him getting knocked out again, you know? Um, Just strength, I guess. Coughing is pretty physically tanky, but I think we'll still be okay. Yikes, that didn't even do half. Are you kidding And hardly did anything. Though, so, let's bulk up. Bulk up twice, probably, just to be safe. Yikes. Let's slack off first. Yikes. What is it with me and getting hit by crits today when I absolutely just do not need to be hit by crits? Alright, that shouldn't do much. Again. Bulk up one more time. Come on. Seriously? The other attack was doing more damage, dude. Alright, let's finish this. Surprised he didn't randomly self destruct or anything. Sly leveled, which is very nice. Wants to learn the move Swagger, which I'm not going to teach him just because I already have it on Nipper. And Nipper, even when I was playing through the games the first time, right? Nipper learned it first. So that always became one of Nipper's signature moves, right? So I just never really saw the point in giving it to anybody else. But that's not a bad move for a Nuzleaf either, you know? Now it's that guy again. Just what is this? D did Leader Maxi know that it would happen like this? I curse you. The precious results of my research. Give them back. Oh, shut it. Ugh. Uh, steady on. Uh, are you alright? Just what is going on around here? Even I, Tabitha, am feeling all discombobulated. Leader Maxi, what are you trying to do to the world? To us? To Team Magma? This can never, ever be forgiven. Descent in the ranks? Interesting. Can I go around here? No. I have to battle both of these idiots? God dang it. Might actually cut these out if they're too samey, you know? Yeah, they were pretty samey. Alright, um... Yeah, I guess let's just go into this guy. I've got a little bit of time left in the episode. Yeah... Are you one of my fans? Uh, wait, you're that same kid who's always popping up. I can't believe you even follow. Uh, you're even following me around in my private life. Uh, yeah, 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 well, that's all right. Maybe I'll just clear up this intensely unpleasant feeling I have welling up inside me by beating you to a pulp. Try it, bud. Let's see. Let's see how well that goes for you. Okay. 
probably not a good matchup for me. Um, <laughs> Let's just fight ace to ace. We might as well, right? I like how he chirps when he comes in. I think that's very cute. Okay. Didn't really do much, buddy. Double kick. Let's go. Not bad. That's going to hurt a little worse. Yikes. Don't know why I didn't expect him to have that. Really wish I had a water type with me right now. <laughs> Dear God, I'm dumb. Um, just bite it. We can probably muscle our way through this well enough. Okay, we got it anyway. I like the way Mighty Anna moves too. It's very realistic, you know. Hey, Sly level. That's good. Ha 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 what do you think you can do in the face of that which is to come? I'm looking forward to seeing you rush into action. So it's so it sounds like um, he doesn't want this to happen now that he knows the full scope of it. The leader should head to Mount Pyre, which means I. Hmm, interesting. Thank you, young one. You helped save us from quite a pinch. Uh, you okay there, mate? <laughs> it was truly a slap in the face. Those thieves, what could they hope to gain by investigating the extreme weather patterns of thousands of years ago? Oh, but I'm forgetting myself. First, I must thank you properly for your help. It might seem an odd way of rewarding you, but please take this Pokemon as my thanks. Mm -hmm. You cannot care, carry any more Pokemon with you currently? Why don't you come and to call again after you've made space on your team? But as for the data those ruffians were seeking, they wanted to know about the extreme weather conditions that ruled thousands of years ago because of those two super ancient Pokemon. And one of that pair was the legendary Pokemon we know as Mighty Groudon. By absorbing the energy that abounds in the natural world, Groudon transformed itself, or so it is said. Uh, the transformed Groudon caused so much uh, disturbance to the weather patterns that the world grew barren. The heat it created dried up the oceans and the parched land covered more and more of the planet. We refer to this uh, transformation as Primal Reversion. The result of it is the terror we call Primal Groudon. Primal Reversion is a possible form of evolution, like and yet not like Mega Evolution, or so it has been theorized, but it has never been achieved by any Pokemon other than the super ancient legendary Pokemon, and so it has been largely forgotten as a method of evolution. If you'll excuse us, then, we'll be heading downstairs, but talk to us when you have a moment. We want to thank you as well. Okay. Um, I'm, I don't actually want your Pokemon, so I'm just gonna go. Bye. I, I don't. I don't care about cast form at all. Um. I just. I was just curious if I could do that. Did you have anything to say? Hello. We've been saved by your actions. Uh, what I don't understand is what on earth Team Magma was up to. Okay. I'm gonna heal real quick too while I have a second. That kid's gone. Okay. And I could... I could just... Put a... Oh, wait! God, I'm stupid. God, I'm so stupid. Dear God. Uh Hi. Oh, you dropped by as you promised. Great. Please take this then. Here it is. Rocky helmet. Not awful, but n nothing I'm really that worried about. 
It, it just it gives it gives the wearer rough skin, basically. Hey, kid. Wow, you're really strong. I want to be a Pokemon trainer like you. Well, it doesn't hurt to aim big. Can I sit on these? That's so freaking cool. Just chilling. Um, that's gonna be about it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I certainly did. Even though I'm a freaking idiot, and this episode made it more painfully clear that I'm a freaking idiot than most anything else I've ever done. There is a PC right there. I looked at it. I didn't say it out loud, but I acknowledged its existence. And then I went on to whine about how I didn't have my Pelipper. Dear God, I'll talk to you guys later.